Oh my god, this is completely insane. The queen, the bane of every Viking's existence that makes it to the Mistlands. The new biome's been with us for a while now, so I'm sure a lot of the people watching this video have probably beaten the queen already. However, whether you chose a more tanky approach and just went in with the new Krom, you went with magic, or maybe you just made a ton of weapons to help you with the new boss fight, even a pretty conservative approach to the queen, where you just make like a new sword and some new armor or something, requires a lot of prep, or at least a lot of prep compared to this video. Ever since the Mistlands update first came out and Aether started ruining people's bases, I've been wondering how much damage can this innocent looking green orb really do? And considering the queen has more HP than any other enemy in the game, what better way to test it than trying to take down the most ugly boss in Valheim? So strap in, this is going to be a fun one. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future content. And without further ado, this is Queen versus Ether. Fight! All right, here we go, defeating the Queen with Ether. I'm sure you guys didn't want to see me farm all this refined Ether manually. So I've created a full black metal chest of Ether earlier for the purposes of this video. Something interesting to note about this is that if you just drop a stack of ether on the floor it just leaves one ether model on the floor and therefore only does the damage of one ether so in order to do the most damage you actually want to drop all of the pieces individually so yeah this is gonna take a while to set up this way all right let's go setting the trap oh stuff's happening anyway i think you guys get the gist about the setup so in the interest of time with the magic of editing, we'll jump to having all of the ether placed. All right, here we go. Now to get our attention. Oh my God, this is absolutely insane. Oh, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. All right, now let's watch the magic happen. Oh my God, this is completely insane. Ah, uh, she keeps running away from it. I think we need to spread out the ether placement a bit. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Okay, so this definitely works. But I think we need more ether and it to be more spread out. And also, there is a lot of fog. So I think I'm actually gonna clear things up just for the purposes of the video using a few commands. I've noticed she spends a lot of time in this corner. So I'm actually just gonna try it again over here. All right, here we go. It's in position. Oh, she's going right towards the trap. Come on. Here we go. Oh my God, she's getting absolutely melted. Please computer, don't explode. Oh my God, this is so crazy. This is ultimate one FPS content. Oh my God, when she goes over it, she actually gets melted. This is so crazy. This is actually even crazier than I thought finding the right spot to place it because normally the direction these laser beams fly in is obviously totally random so it means that no matter where you put it she's not going to get hit a lot but if you put it in a place where she goes over it like every single one hits and whenever that happens it's insane damage oh my god this is epic I don't know what an epic montage of this low FPS footage is going to look like. <laughs> but it's epic nonetheless. Whoa! <laughs> this is so insane. Boom! Let's go! That is it. We officially defeated the queen with nothing but an insane amount of ether. Oh my god, look at this. Look at it. The insanity. All right, guys, that's just about going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to leave a like and a nice positive comment below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for future content. I do stream live on this very YouTube channel and also live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nick 
so I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in that. If you want to support the content and help keep the dream alive and in return get access to a couple of private Valheim servers, then the best way for you to do that is on Patreon at patreon.com slash nickrawcliffe. So I'll leave a link in the description to that as well. You can follow me on social media and join my Discord at the links below. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, have a good one.